610 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. And at 647 on your Monday morning, here's a live look across the bay towards downtown San Diego facing uh, Petco Park, home of the Padres. And it was going to be pretty packed there this week as the wild card games get underway. Visibility right now is reduced, especially for areas like Kearney Mesa and Fallbrook. They're down to a nearly quarter of a mile. Meanwhile, we're seeing patchy fog along the five corridor from Oceanside all the way down to La Jolla, parts of downtown San Diego and in Chula Vista. In fact, when I was heading out the door out of the South Bay, taking the 805, it was really foggy. So just make sure that you're leaving time for travel this morning. Current temperatures, it's comfortable. So if you're taking that exercise outside, I would do it within the next few hours while it's manageable because this afternoon we're looking at another really warm day in store, especially the further from the coast that you are. That's where we're looking at some of the hottest temperatures. We'll be in the 50s up until 8 o'clock for the inland valleys and then we'll climb to the mid to upper 60s by 9 a.m. Here's what I'm talking about as far as the heat goes. We will see a lot more 90s in the mix for the interior parts of the county as well as the mountain areas. We'll top out in the low hundreds this afternoon and 70s on tap for the coastal areas. So ridge of high pressure settling over the eastern Pacific is going to move eastward over California over the next couple of days. The heat peaks Tuesday and Wednesday. We're hoping for a little relief on Friday, but it's looking like it's still going to remain warm for the entire county. So we're not seeing too much relief in terms of the inland heat over the next several days. The hottest temperatures Wednesday, that's when the inland areas will be near 100 and we will have heat advisories beginning tomorrow for the valleys as well as the desert communities. If you're headed towards Petco Park tomorrow, have fun, be safe, but make sure you're staying hydrated because it's going to be pretty warm. We'll be in the upper 70s. A lot of the coastal areas will be in the mid to low 80s and then we'll drop down to the low 70s once we get towards sunset. Taking a look at what's on tap for the rest of the week, subtle daily changes. Upper 70s, low 80s is going to be the pattern all the way through the weekend. The inland areas will be under that heat advisory starting tomorrow while the uh, uh, deserts will be under an excessive heat warning. Uh, this one expires Wednesday night and then the excessive heat warning for the deserts will take us all the way through Thursday night. Highs will be anywhere from 108 to 115. The inland valleys daytime highs will be soaring in the low hundreds. So if you live in Campo Valley Center, Ramona, I'm talking to you. You'll see some of the hottest temperatures. A little bit of relief Thursday and Friday, but we're still going to remain warmer than normal and in the 90s. Mountain areas will be in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon, climbing about five degrees or so on Tuesday. We're in the low 90s up until Friday and then 80s re-entering the picture this weekend. Desert highs near 105 this afternoon. That excessive heat warning impacts the desert, impacting the deserts Tuesday through Thursday night.